All right, guys. Uh, my apologies for not being here today, but uh, even though I'm not there, I like to keep things as normal as possible. And for today, we're going to be talking about cuneiform, which also happens to be one of our vocabulary words for this next uh, section. Uh, and you're going to be learning about its origins, where it came from, and who, for the most part, spoke cuneiform. And then later on, uh, probably on Tuesday, you guys are going to learn a little bit more about how to write using cuneiform. But let's go ahead and begin. All right, so first and foremost, let's begin with the early origins. And the early origins actually started off with pictograph, which also is, happens to be one of our vocab words. All right, so before the invention of cuneiform, pictographs were used as a simple way of writing. Uh, just like our definition states, uh, pictographs are symbols that stand for real objects. We still, to this day, in many cases, still use pictographs. For instance, when you go to a bathroom, a lot of times it doesn't say bathroom. Instead, it will have an image of the gender uh, that is allowed to go in that restroom. Or other examples of a pictograph that is still used today would be uh, the recycling symbol doesn't actually tell you to recycle, but you know that by looking at the three triangled arrow, or the th uh, the the triangle that, that has three arrows, you know that you need to recycle. If you look on the right hand side, here are some early or original pictographs, and then it and then it goes on and tells us what uh, what they meant. So here you have the original pictograph, look like a bird. Later on, they started to change it based on the uh, the more complex it got, early Babylonian, Assyrian, and then that meant that it was a bird. And then you kind of keep going down, and it, it breaks it down for you pretty well. Now, instead of using paper, ancient Sumerians actually used clay tablets to write on. Because keep remember, uh, Mesopotamia did not have a lot of natural resources, so paper uh, had not yet been invented, trees were, were very scarce, but one thing that the Sumerians had a lot of was clay, because they could find it from the ground. Uh, and instead of using pencils, mar pencils, markers, pens, and things like that, instead, they used sharpened reeds to draw symbols on the wet clay. They would simply leave an impression on there, and then over time, or eventually, the clay tablets would dry. Now, eventually, this moved into or developed into ancient cuneiform and experts believe that the sumerians developed cuneiform about 3300 bce remember bce stands for before current era and the reason why they started to write in this form uh, experts believe that the first records of cuneiform were used to explain the goods traded between other people almost like the receipts or uh, like that we would use today, or people writing things down to say who bought what, almost like having a, uh, a record of it. Uh, at first, cuneiform had over 2,000 symbols, and keep in mind, the scribes had to learn and memorize all of these. Uh, but eventually, they reduced those numbers to about 700, which is still pretty high, but we, when we break it down and think about our written language, we memorize a lot of these words already or we've memorized a lot of words. Uh, eventually, cuneiform would become a written language that would be adopted and adapted or changed by other city-states or civilizations, which we will get into in the next chapter. Uh, some of these were the kingdoms of Akkad, Sumer, Hittite, Babylon, and Assyria. And these were all located within the Fertile Crescent in ancient Mesopotamia. And just like pictographs, the symbols were etched onto clay tablets, and they used reed styluses to imprint the clay tablets. A little fun fact, uh, cuneiform is actually a word that comes from Latin, which means for wedge, seeing as cuneiform used wedge-shaped symbols to create their language or their, or their words, which is kind of neat. Right hand side, you have a picture of uh, the area that we're still learning about. And the last one here is we're going to be using this alphabet to figure out and decipher messages, write our name, and so forth. So you can see this is what uh, our alphabet.